In this video, we are going to talk about how the Nanda Empire became the first empire in Indian history. In order to understand how the Nanda Empire came into existence, we have to first go back to the period after the death of Ajat Shatru. In the previous videos, we have discussed how Ajat Shatru, who in the end was killed by his own son, had made Magad the preeminent power in Eastern India. The period after the death of Ajat Shatru was a period of decline for Magad. Udain, who became the king after killing his father Ajat Shatru, was also killed by his son. The frequent assassination of Magadan kings had made Magad internally very weak. We find that during this period of turmoil, Magad also faced the growing threat from Avanti. Avanti, who was the rival power of Magad during this period, expanded and it conquered the Mahajanpad of Vats. Having conquered the Mahajanpad of Vats, now the Avantian territory touched the borders of Magad. The Magadan people and the Magadan elite realized that the next target for Avantian army was Magad. Now, in order to secure Magad from the Avantian threat, the Magadan people and the Magadan elites realized that they needed a strong leadership. The ruling house of Magad did not had the capacity to provide Magad the strong leadership that it needed. The Magadan people and the Magadan elite decided that in order to have a strong leadership for Magad, they have to first drive out the ruling house. So they drove out the ruling house of Magad and in turn they elected a new king. The new king Shishunag during this period was governing the Mahajanpad of Kashi. He was an Amate and Amate during this period was the term used for high official. Since he was an Amate, he knew the art of governing. When Shishunag became the new Magadhan king, the first thing he did was he decided to make Vaishali the second capital of Magad. The reason the reason behind this shift has to do with the fact that Rajgriya was much closer from the Avantian border. In a future conflict, Rajgriya would be the first target for the Avantian army. Vaishali on the other hand was situated on the other side of the Ganga and it also provided a strategic depth which Rajgriya lacked. We do not have much evidence of how the war between Magad and Avanti unfolded but we do know that during the end of Shishunag reign, he was able to conquer the Mahajanpad of Avanti. Having conquered the Mahajanpad of Avanti, Magad now became the preeminent power in northern India. Shishunag was succeeded by Kalashok and during Kalashok reign, we find that no further conquest took place. But during this period, we find that Kalashok did shift his capital. The old capital during this period was Rajgriya. And we find that Patliputra in this period has emerged as a center of trade and commerce. So Kalashok decided to shift his capital from Rajgriya to Patliputra. Since Patliputra was situated on the banks of river Ganga, it was much easier from Patliputra to govern the far-flung territories of the Magadhan kingdom. The end of Kalashok, like many Magadhan kings, was a tragic one. He was killed in the vicinity of Patliputra. The person who killed him became the founder of the Nanda Empire. The Jain, Buddhist and the Puranic sources identify this person differently. According to Puranic sources, the person who had killed Kalashok was Mahapadmanand. On the other hand, Buddhist sources claim that he was called Ugrasen. The Jain, Buddhist and the Puranic sources provide different details about the origin of the Nandas. But all of these sources agree upon the fact that there were nine Nandas. King. But we do know that during this period, the Nandas were able to extend their territories. It was during this period we find that the Mahajanpad of Panchal, Saurashen, Matsya and Kuru were conquered. The Nandas were also able to conquer the Mahajanpad of Ashma. From an inscription which was found in a cave in Odisha, it appears that the Nanda empire was able to conquer the kingdom of Kalinga as well.
With these conquests, the Nandas became the first dynasty to establish an empire in Indian history. The supremacy which the Nanda kings enjoyed can also be corroborated from the fact that the Purana used the epithet Ekarat to describe the Nanda kings. Ekarat means sole sovereign and from these facts we can say that the Nandas managed to create the first empire in Indian history. Around 327 BC when Alexander had invaded India, we find that the Greek and Roman sources which talk about Alexander's invasion, they also talk about the Nanda empire. They mention that beyond the river Beas, an empire exists which had huge army. In the next video, we will talk about how Chandragupta destroyed this Nanda empire and how he founded the Mauryan empire. Thank you for watching.